Right, another small video. There's some people walking along the top there. I'll just zoom in a bit. They've obviously thought they could get back. You've got to come this way, I'm afraid, because there's what's called a breach. It's a large opening, and it's over there. And there's probably quite a fierce, wide, dangerous stretch of muddy marshland there. And you'd advise, strongly advised, not to cross it. And there's two lots of people, one either side now. Now, I didn't get that far. He wasn't that curious. But I did see a couple that were going that way. They got that point and turned back. Um, I half expect them to come this way in a minute. But look at that Bossington Hill. Now, that's where that USA plane hit the side of that hill. And crashed in the marshland just just over there a little bit where there's um a memorial to the to the USA airman who died after hitting that hill and then landing here. I've got a good five hours. I might have to come back this bit just to join the track going back into Porlock because there's no way I'm walking a road or going through um cow fields. I was watching this program the other night. You know, I'm always going on about being chased by cows and how I never used to be scared until I was chased, much later in life. I'm talking about when I was in my 60s, I was chased. Up until then, I was always wary of them, but I wasn't scared like I, I am now, really. I don't mind admitting it. But uh, I was watching this program or listening to something. It could have been on the radio. I listened to Radio 4 quite a lot. And um, they were talking about Goering, I think his name was, uh, in the Second World War. Leading up to that, leading up to that war, they were into their, uh, getting their cows bred in a certain way. And they were into their, um, you know, the, the, um, the race stuff. Um, uh, anyway, you know, the specially selected race that they were going on about. Anyway, uh, apparently they say that the Germanic tribes used to have wild cows and they wanted to create a situation where they could breed these cows going back to those early Anglo-Saxon times. And I've also heard from other people since I was chased that there are a lot of German cows that are mad, you know, they've got a, they're a bit crazy, um, vicious. So it could be that some have got some of the genes because they bred these old type of cows with these um, aggressive tendencies for hunting. The Germans wanted them to be aggressive on purpose so they could hunt them properly, that they didn't want them domesticated so, and all that. So anyway, like I said, so somebody said to me that there are some cows that come from Germany that are in English fields that have got that strain in them. Just a bit of useless information, everyone. I am now walking towards Porlock Weir. I'm having a lovely time. It's very relaxing. Um, I've got my little camper set up. It's all, I, I don't know if they're going to be noisy, the people next to me, you can't tell. Especially when they come in groups. You know, when they, if you've got five or six caravan loads and they all know each other. Um, you know, you, you can feel a bit isolated when you don't really want to. Uh, and, but I've got a nice little pitch at the moment. <laughs> we just see how it goes. I've got me telly. He said it is, there's good uh, reception. Um, I've got telly. Um, I've got the laptop too, so I can see my photos at least. I brought the laptop. Um, and I might be able to store some on it. But it is a bit dodgy, that laptop, so I'll have to be careful. And I think I'll only do that. Or I might buy another memory stick. And I've still got five memory cards. Most of them are 16 gigabytes, but there's 132. Um, I'm using the old camera today. 
it could go in a minute. When I go out, I do longer videos now. I can use two memory cards in one day without any trouble whatsoever. Anyway, let's look back. Those people caught me up yet? Yeah. I expect they were annoyed they couldn't get through. I remember when that happened to me over at uh, Stuart Marshes. No one, it was, it never said that you couldn't get across or anything. Not really. So I, I um, had to go back another day because I was worn out by the time I'd walked along to the breach and found that you just can't get across. But I wanted to get this done today because my mission tomorrow is to get up very early. I mean, this evening I've got to find the bus stop and work out how long it takes me to get the bus stop back to the camp or from the camp to the bus stop because I'm going to get the bus to Minehead which only takes half an hour I'm getting it at half past six in the morning it's not supposed to be such a brilliant day tomorrow though that's the only thing but the rest of the week is supposed to be bright sunshine well I've booked myself in for four nights so that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Thursday night. It actually gives me five days over this way, although I will be going back Friday night. But I've got like five days of exploring to do. I never waste any time when I get to a campsite either. I have a look round, find out where everything is, top up with fluids, get the picnic ready. I didn't want to waste today either because I could have come any time I wanted but I thought no get over there get your pitch rather than be stuck in the middle of somewhere I've got mine in a nice little place nicely sheltered and uh So that's good, isn't it? Over and out for now, everyone. Can't see those people, but they were young and they could easily <clears throat> come this way. I don't know if they will. Over and out.